Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I actually just got out of the woods not too long ago. Well, it was raining a little while ago, but I went out this morning and had a lot of fun. It was really cold. Had a couple of gobblers, but didn't get lucky enough to get one. So we're over here trying to find some bison now with the uh, 600 grain cross point crossbow right now. Hello everybody, welcome. Glad to see you could come out here. Boys Jim, what's going on? Colton Hicks, Joe Rex Weaver, Ibad, Jonathan Owen. Good to see all you guys here. Andrew the Hunter. Hey, Ubicity. Yeah, so like I said, I just got done uh, turkey hunting not too long ago. I think we have some bison tracks here already. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty much what we're looking for. Uh, let's just say I had a gobbler 50 yards away and... My Benelli let me down, knocked him right over, and he got back up. I thought he was going to go down in the grass, so I ran over there to go find him and couldn't find him. So, But it happens. That's the first time I've ever taken a shot and actually not dropped a turkey. And then this morning I went out and I had a couple gobblers right behind me, but they never actually came out into the field. Hey, and outdoors, what's going on? All right, so this might be just one female here. There should be some more. Yeah, there's some more tracks here. Old. All right, so my plan is to go over here and check out these two lakes. A lot of times there's bison here along this ridge especially over here by this lake, uh, Robert Strong Elk Fog. Apparently it's a point of interest we could go check out. So we'll go over there and go take a look at that. Yeah, I'm not really gonna worry about these because they're all old, so we'll just see what happens. Hello, Trina Rogers, Nicole, good to see you. Uh, my day's going pretty good. It was really cold and rainy, but it stopped raining, so it's, it's getting better. All right, we're approaching the first lake. It's a little bit early in the morning. I'm not sure when the bison tend to move best. Uh, to be honest, I always start around six o'clock game time, so it might not be the best time, but I like it. Wow, this is pretty cool. I didn't know you could go up here. I might want to go up to the top. Oh, you had a... You had a gobbler lined up with your crossbow, but you hit a branch. Yep, I have the 22 long rifle. Yep, the same thing happened to me, Anion. The same exact thing. I couldn't find him. 50 yards. The last time I took that far of a shot, well, I think I was... Wait, what is that? That is a sleeping row, 120 yards away. It's a female though. I don't really know if we want to waste our time on her. Yeah, the last time I took a 50 yard shot was quite a while ago, let's just say. And at that time I practiced all the time. So I haven't really practiced that much, so I probably shouldn't have taken that far of a shot, but he rolled right over like he was going down. But apparently it wasn't good enough of a shot. Deerslayer 101. Hey, good to see you again. My day is going really good. Thank you. Glad to see you stopping in here. No rain in Minnesota. Yeah. Oh, that's a big bison track. 1,344 to 1,600 pounds. Wow. Wow. What do we have calling here? It sounds like a red deer almost. It might possibly be red deer. Let's see what we have.
That is a row female. And she is down. Oh, there was a bison there. Oh, there was a bunch of them. All right. So he might be around. Potentially, he could be right here. I don't see him yet. All right, let's pick up this row. It was a female. We got a spine shot on her. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know which one is him. But he should be here. Ewald Lessing, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you for the like. I really appreciate that. It does mean a lot. Where did they go? See, I kind of want to focus on the track that we have. But something tells me that he might have been in that group and he might have actually circled back around. I bet 850 you're out crow hunting. You got three lined up. Oh, okay. So you actually got a crow with the crossbow. That must have been pretty challenging. Wow. I don't know if I don't know if I could do that. That's really cool that you're out crow hunting though. And it takes a lot of skill to be able to get some crows. They're probably one of the smartest birds out there. All right, so I don't see any more tracks going this way, which would probably me I wonder if they're right over there. Uh, nope. Female, female. Can't quite tell what that is, female. This one looks decent, female. Female. All right, so these are all females here from what it looks like. Huh. See, I don't want to lose this track. Let's pick up that track. Is this is track? Nope. All right. We have something coming in. Something tells me it might be him. So we'll stay in some cover here and see if he comes by. Come on. Where is he? That might be him right there. Just taking it slow. Until we can hopefully see him. Still can't see him. Where is he? Got tracks all over. It probably is him. But where is he? Hey, Trey Dominguez, what's going on? Where is he? There he is. That's him, that's him. Perfect shot, and we got him down. 150 to 226 score on him. I don't know what our consecutive harvest is at. We probably should have checked um, from that road here. I don't remember looking at what the consecutive harvest is at. 
So we might actually leave him be there for a second. And we'll go see if we can't find another bison. It shouldn't be too long. Should be able to find one of these females here real quick. Infinite corn dogs, hello. Bronston Stone, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Not too much, Trey. That's good. That's good. Not too much is better than too much, that's for sure. Yeah, I actually took a couple of days off so I could go turkey hunting. And bow fishing. Ended up almost successful at both things. Except the carp right now are really deep. They're really deep. Uh, El Kenny, you got a nice tom. Congratulations, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if you heard or not, but I knocked one over at 50 yards and he got back up and didn't end up getting him. But it was a lot of fun to see him come in. If you want to check out my uh, Instagram, there's a screenshot of uh, a picture of him actually coming in full strut with, I think there was like four or five hens with him. All right, I don't see any more bison at the moment, but let's mark, let's mark this guy here. All right, so we'll mark him. There they are, they're coming right in. Wow, they came in pretty fast. All right, let's see if we can get a nice shot on this guy. Yup, she's down as well. I think we got spine and maybe intestine. But all we wanted to get was one, just to be able to see what our consecutive harvest is at. Ewald, yes I do. Uh, mostly just bow hunt though. Let's go pick her up. I'm surprised we actually found that big bison so fast. Oh, we picked up our bolt. And perfect shot, double lung spine shot, and our consecutive harvest is at 40%. Wow, I am so happy that we just shot this female. Because we still need to get at least two more to get our consecutive harvest back up. She scored 154. Or no, this was a male. I did not know that that was a male. Anyways, it's still an awesome shot. Yeah, 654, pretty decent bison. 154 uh, double lung spine shot at 32. So that means we need to find a couple more bison here quick. Hey, Dominic Vlogs, I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Coulter Caraway, you got a triple beard, Tom, a couple weeks ago. That's incredible. I've never actually seen one or heard of one. Well, I'm sure I've heard of them, but I've never really met anybody that's gotten a triple beard. So congratulations on that. That's that's something to be proud of. I got a double beard, but never a triple. We should probably reload our crossbow. Are we reloaded? Yes, we are. Oh, we got one right there. It is a... Uh, well, what is it? We can't just be shooting at everything. We got to make sure... It's not a big male, too, because that one'd be good. Oh, these ones are nervous. Come on, stop, stop. Holy, look at them all. Got her, too. Nice shot on that one. I was hoping none of them spooked so we could actually get a couple of them here. A call from a roe deer. Hey, Wyatt Shear, good to see you again. Thank you for that. Really appreciate that. All right, Tony Capra, have a good night. Thank you for coming in. Hunter Strain, what's going on? That was a 76 scoring female. We made a lung spine shot on her, so perfect shot on her. And we're at 80% right now, so I believe we should be able to pick up this big uh, bull bison, I think they're called. Yeah, I think it's a bull. Nope, this is definitely a live stream. All 
All right, so I think there's actually a roadier down here. Should be a female. At least she was calling. Oh, you got the new DLC. That's awesome. Yeah, how do you guys like that? Well, it looks like we have a couple of bison coming this direction. Female and a female. And we have one, like, right on top of us. What? Why are we spotting a road here when there's a bison right here? It's a female. Dropped her. This crossbow is just incredible. It really is. Sounds good, Nicole. Hello, Chance. Wow, boy, Jin, that's pretty incredible. Thank you for that. Thank you for the update. Uh, I kind of want to bust out the 338 and see if we can't get... What is that? It's a young real. Let's just take a shot on him. It was a little bit of a... Too big of a caliber for him, but... We'll take him anyways. Alright, let's pick up this female. Then we'll go over and go pick up the big male. Uh, I love squirrel hunting. Don't really do too, too much of it, though. Uh, female, she scored 73, and we're back up to 100% now. Ended up getting a double lung spine shot. This crossbow has a really incredible amount of penetration as well. At 30, 30 yards, it still goes right through double lung every time. Hey, Chance M, thank you. I really appreciate that. Well, let's go pick up this one. He probably has some potential to be gold. Uh, I don't know if he was big enough to be diamond, but maybe. To tell you the truth, I don't remember what his level actually was. I just know he was really, really heavy. And we have more bison coming in already over here. Wow, look at them all. Uh, so, we made a really good shot on him. Let's take a, a really cool picture of this guy. There we go. Pretty cool picture. And let's pick him up. 171. I think they need to be 190 plus to be gold. But still a pretty nice one. 171 total score of 782. He was a three very easy. So he needs to be a four very easy or higher in order to be gold or diamond potential. Ended up getting a 25 yard. Looks like double lung spine shot. No, single lung. We got uh, le right lung, shoulder blade spine. All right. All right, sounds good, Wyatt. Have a good one. Good luck working on your dirt bike. Let's see what we have here. Female, female, and female. And female. And female. I sort of want to just unload on these, but at the same time, I don't really want to have a bunch of injured bison running around. Tell you what, we might take a shot with the crossbow, then we'll pull out the 338 to see if we can't get one on the run. Hey, Trey Dominguez sounds good. Um, yeah, possibly I might do a stream tomorrow. Depends on how turkey hunting goes. If all goes well, I might have time to go turkey hunting. Let's take a shot. Perfect shot. And this one didn't even spook. That one's down as well. Wow, I didn't even see the other ones take off, but apparently they bolted. Oh, there they go. Let's see if we can't get another one of these guys. Uh, that probably was... Oh, no, that was a solid hit, 50%. Probably got a single lung on that. 
I'll take it. Seems like the crossbow's bringing them down better than the 338. It's pretty funny. Uh, so how do we pick up just the bolt? Let's see. There we go. This one scores 98. It was a female, and we got a single lung. No, nope, double lung. Double lung shot. Wow, that shot was 48.78 yards. I didn't realize how far that shot actually was. 48 yards, and it looks like she was trying to duck the bolt. So that's probably why we hit a little bit high. Otherwise, we might have actually missed her. This one scores 74, and we got her, her with the 338 Palmer tips. Double lung spine shot on her. I believe we have the row deer down here we have to pick up too. Yep, here's the row. It was just a small row deer buck. Hey, Jacob Guns, nice to see you too. Got a spine double lung shot. It scored 23. So, a really small row to your buck but it was still a buck so we took him I have not been bear hunting it looks like we have another bison appearing over here that is a female oh boy I don't know if you guys can see this but we're uh, accidentally using the wrong choice of weapon here <laughs> but this is interesting because I kind of wanted to see what would happen with this choice but at the same time I don't really want to be tracking it all over the place Hopefully it brings it down. We're still at 75%, so it's not looking too promising. Yeah, that's... Uh... Huh. Alrighty then. Let's go over and see if we can find it. So we'll track him in a second. First, I want to go pick up this one. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see what it would do on a bison, to be honest. And apparently, it takes a lot to bring him down. But the question is, will it actually bring him down? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I believe he's probably hit at least 10 or 15 times. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be mostly flesh wounds. All right, here's the bison we hit with the 338. Right lung shot on that one. Hey, Hudson Jacobs. We got a pretty decent mail. 170 plus, I think he was. Alex Sandar, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Uh, if you're talking real life, I almost had a gobbler yesterday morning, but I unfortunately didn't quite get him. All right, well, let's track down this one now. I think this is track. Yeah, it should be. not that's yeah, definitely his track all right sounds good ACA 556 in your sights thank you so much for subscribing that's awesome I really appreciate that Oh, no problem, Hudson.
Yeah, if we run into this bison again, we're probably going to use the 338. I just wanted to see what it would do. And now it looks like we're in a situation where the track sort of disappeared, unless it turned this way. Some strange reason. Walking. Oh, it did turn this way. Interesting. What is going on, Vapid Earth? Good to see you again. Huh. We accidentally just took a shot on a bison with a 22. And we're going to see if it will bring it down. Wisconsin. Hey. What was that? Hey, Carter, what's going on? That might be the bison there. And click the wrong button. Where did he go? Oh, come on. There he is. The shake is real. Why are we shaking so much? Oh, come on. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that was our bison. Uh, Chance, the Hunter Classic is actually free initially, but if you want to get anything else. Man, I don't know if that was a good hit or not. Well, apparently not. Uh, apparently, yeah, that's our female. <gasps> oh, come on. No! <sighs> that's unfortunate. Let's see, we're right about here. Guess we'll be best off to come from here. Tristan, thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, the 338 is pretty awesome in Call of the Wild. Well, I wouldn't know how it feels to to go down like that, but I have fallen off of a small cliff before and it doesn't feel very good. It hurts majorly. No, Chance, you just have to buy basically all of your weapons, all of your stands, all of your tents, any equipment that you want. But the thing is, once you get it, you get to keep it to a certain point. Because then still every month or every like, actually I think it's every, every three months or every six months, you still have to renew your membership. So in a way, you only buy it once, but in a way, you're still paying every every other month basically hey the cube central what's going on glad to see you here also thank you for all the comments that was pretty awesome of you wow you got an 838 gold jackrabbit congratulations that's that's a monster yeah no I, I was fine it hurt a little bit but Luckily, I tucked my shoulder and pretty much it hit, it took most of the fall, I guess.
Yeah, no problem. I think the membership is... I don't know. I probably have to renew mine soon, actually. I think it's like ten ninety nine for three months. And then... Nineteen ninety nine for six months or something like that. Oh boy, that must have hurt. This is on PC. Yeah, luckily when I fell. Well, I was holding a pair of really expensive binoculars. They were my dad's at the time, so I didn't want them to break. So, unfortunately, it was either drop the binoculars and risk getting yelled at by my dad, or taking the fall and kind of sacrificing my body instead of the binoculars. And that's pretty much what I did. It was worth it. Hello, Isaac. This should be our bison. Yes, it is. But good luck finding her now. I don't see any percentage going down. I think we might have actually missed her. Running this way. Uh, Vapid Earth, the Hunter Classic is on PC only. Oh, looks like we found some more tracks. And the percentage is going down a little bit too. 50%. Hello, Alan. Good to see you again. It's going good, thank you. I have not been to Sweden, nope. I would love to go though. That potentially could be our female bison that we have hit. Ooh, percentage is dropping quite a bit actually. So that might be a different bison. Which that would probably mean that we did hit her at least once with the 338. Jacob Stevens, you're from the Bayou State. That's awesome. I have been to South Dakota. Yes, I have. Um, right now we have the 338 and we also have the cross point crossbow with the 600 grain arrows. Yeah, they really do need to add some turkey. Because if they had turkey, I'd probably be doing a turkey hunt right now. Oh, maybe she didn't go down. Hey, Joseph Drew. Thank you so much. My day's going well. I hope your day's going good. It was raining here not too long ago, but it looks like it just died down. So all is good now. 
looking forward to getting back out in the woods tomorrow morning possibly depending if it's too cold or if it's raining I might just wait until Sunday yeah today I was well let's just say I woke up a little bit too late and got to the spot a little bit too late I already had a gobble so I didn't have time to set up the ground blind so I basically had to just lay on my stomach put some decoys out I put a hen and a jake decoy out about 25 yards away from me and within like 15 minutes well there's our bison right there within 15 minutes I had two hens pretty much 10 yards away from me while I was laying on my stomach so luckily they didn't spook but the tom never actually did come in so that should be our female she looks like she's limping a little bit so it should be her but I'm not a hundred percent if we can get a little bit better of a look at her be able to find out that is not her that would have been not good if we hit her on accident. Wait, is that the same one? Yep. she is according to this she might have cut back Yep, she did cut back. Well, if it's the second biggest turkey in Kentucky, then congratulations. And I definitely believe that it was an eight beard, Tom. That's pretty lucky. Some tracks going this way. You got the DLC, the Cube Central? What do you think of it? All I know is this crossbow is a huge game changer in my opinion. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Wow, where did this bison go to? She's hit about seven times with a 22 and probably once with a 338, so she should go down, you would think. But then again, it might have been a miss. What is that? Female and a female row. Oh, it's a good thing we pulled that out because apparently we're not even loaded. Uh, I believe I have three diamonds. Hello, Victor Hamburg. Canada, I'm not sure. I believe my passport is actually expired. So, first off, I would have to get a new passport. Yes, I have gone fishing. Actually, I went walleye fishing two days ago. And I didn't catch anything, but then I went a day before that and I ended up catching four of them, so not bad. I've been to South Louisiana, but I haven't really been fishing there. Um, I've been to Louisiana on the way to Texas because I went fishing, well, I went bow fishing in um, Texas. Corpus Christi, Texas. 
Is that our bison? No, that's definitely not our bison, but it is a male. So let's mark that general location and hopefully we'll be able to find this big male. Hey Chance, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's awesome that you've been a sub since 10K. Boy, I don't know how long I want to waste on this female. All right, sounds good, Carter. See you when you get back. Just now. Just now, but it doesn't look like just now because I don't see her anywhere. Sid Josie, hello to you. Thank you so much, M. Smith. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Oh, I need to speed things up a little bit here because this bison is taking a long time. Wow, she is way up there. Can't even see her. All right, Jacob Stevens, have fun at work. Pipes aren't going to weld themselves. Yeah, I hear you there. I hear you. Just got a call from the bison. I'm pretty sure that should be her. All right, where is she? Come on, she just called, there she goes. Headshot. Oh, that was a close one. I wonder if that was a male. That was one lucky shot. All right, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22. And I think actually this, yep, 22, 22, 22. So five shots with a 22 and six shots with a 22. So it doesn't even register. Wait, how do I? Oh, there we go. 22, 22, 22, 22. So 12 shots with a 22 we're looking at here. And then we did hit it with the 338, but looks like we took a skull shot on that. Not a very good shot. And then the last shot was a running brain shot. Let's see this one right here. That was a pretty cool shot. That was a 16 yard brain shot. All right, Vapid Earth, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping in here and definitely see you next time. I just want to see if this might be a male. If it is, I'll probably track it down. No, female. And female. All right, in that case, we're going to go back over here where the male called from, and hopefully we can pick up the male track. Yeah, I saw that, Jonathan. The integrity is still at like 90% or something. With uh, 12, 22 hits, and then two, three, 38 hits, it was still at like 90%. Oh, so it actually does bring a bison down with 42 shots. I'll have to try that, Alan. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, Tristan, have a good night. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that.
We are using the 338 as well as the crosspoint crossbow. If we find a decent uh, bison, we'll probably use the crossbow. Which I'm hoping this one might be a decent male. Oh, we got some tracks here. Bunch of tracks. Doesn't look like a bison though. Oh, red deer. Red deer. Red deer. Looks like all cows. There's our bison. Big track on him. 1,344 to 1,686 pounds. So this one is definitely a dime potential weight. We'll see what happens when we get close to him. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Come on. What, what's going on? Oh, he's only a three very easy. He's still a nice one. He's a really nice one. So we're going to try and see if we can't get him with the crossbow. That should be him. Hey, thank you, Kristen. Uh, actually, my middle initial is D, and 33 was one of my favorite numbers, so that's kind of how I got that. Where's the bison? Ghosty, hello. Tristan Otto, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm happy to hear. Where'd you go? I hate when I hit the wrong buttons. <sighs> the bison was right there about to go to sleep. Come on. Well, still made a nice shot. He is down. Nice male bison. Hello in Scotland, Josh. Let's go take a look at him. All right, that's interesting. It looks like the bolt went right through this bison and somehow ended up over here. 124 he scored. And apparently maybe that arrow, or not the arrow, the bolt actually did go through. We caught, what did we catch? Uh, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Why is it showing all kinds of hits? Must be some kind of glitch, but anyways, it should just say single lung and spine, but apparently it's showing all these other things that's going on here. Uh, 16 yard, looks like single lung spine shot, 124 score on him. No, I haven't hunted the magpie, and what do we have here? Uh, young roe deer. Yeah. There's 134 out there. And, ooh. A six hard fox. This is what I'm talking about. He's about 100, 150 out there. Let's see what we can do with the 22. What is that? Wait, 
wait a second. Is that gold potential? That might be. In that case, let's see if we can't call them in with the 300 grain bolts. Uh, Bissy, that was only one shot that we took with the crossbow. Yeah, it was just one hit. So I don't know why it glitched out. I think maybe it's because it hit through the spine and came out the other side or something. Uh, definitely hunting. I would say hunting. I don't think this fox is actually going to come in. Huh. He is nervous. Uh, in the very beginning, you have to set up a multiplayer server. So if this fox would actually come in. less than a hundred yards <laughs> oh that's awesome Viper Gaming All right, sounds good, Steven. That's good news. The fox does not seem interested. Yeah, the alcohol is definitely not the greatest.
Wow, this is one stubborn fox. He should be right there. Oh, I guess we'll sneak up on him. Hello, Everest. Good to see you. Hello, Jeremy Miller. I mean, we have sort of okay camo, but I don't know how close we can actually get. I think he smelled us. I don't think he saw us. So either he, well, it's a female. Either she's still sleeping or she's spooked. I don't know what's going on. Hey, thank you for subscribing. We're getting pretty close. Still no sign. Gotta be kidding me. It was right there. Oh, she's asking for it. Can we even get a couple shots on her? Can't even get a couple shots on her. What a smart fox. And she's gone. Oh, we got a call from a bison, so let's go check that out and see what it is. Yeah, Medved is, is pretty awesome. It's just so thick sometimes that if you're not really hunting... Well, although the crossbow now can shoot quite a ways, it works pretty good. But mostly, mostly the 7mm came in pretty handy on that map. Holy, 1,600 to 2,000 pounds. I've never seen a bison track this big before. Something tells me this is a monster. I see one right there too. I don't know if that's him. Uh, nope, that's a female. The male could be around though. the wrong track that means there's a couple males in this group this is the right track
All right, Samuel, sounds good. I'm definitely going to follow it. <laughs> that reminds me, we should probably load up our 600 grain bolts back into the crossbow because the 300s aren't going to do too much to a huge bison. So we'll load them back up. Interesting. Run. We must have kicked him up. Hmm. Yep, I do have the three thirty eight. Got to be more tracks somewhere. Uh, mail called way over there. I don't think that would be him though. Maybe. No, no more tracks. Hello, Limitless Fire. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that was a different bison. I almost think it was. Hmm. All right, we just got a call from this one again that might possibly be the same group as the big one, so we'll go track him down and see if we can't find this big bison. Let's see, he should have called somewhere over here.
Well, I don't see any sign of them. If he's diamond, we'll probably use the crossbow. I'm pretty confident with it, so we'll probably use the crossbow. Uh, limitless to be honest. I don't know the answer to that question. I know as soon as you get the zeroing perk Then you can set So say we're zeroed in for 32 right now. The top pins gonna be 30 And I don't really know where the other pins actually are. I would assume it would go like 30 60 90 or maybe 30 40 50 To be honest, I don't know and I wasn't that good with this crossbow until I actually used the zeroing perk on it and once I figured that out it's pretty accurate. Jeremy, you got an eight mythical brown bear. That's so cool. Yeah, those mythical brown bear are pretty awesome. Um, I do not know what the new animal is going to be and we just found some new tracks I believe should be fresh. I'm hoping they are at least come on uh, It's looking pretty fresh Be able to find out here in one second Yes, very fresh Super fresh, he actually spooked. All right, guys, I got to go grab something to drink quick. Be right back.
All right, we're back. So sorry, my uh, stomach was actually starting to get a little bit upset, so I had to grab a snack. But I really want to see how big this bison is. We do have the crossbow loaded. All right, Chance, have a good night. Interesting. Did like a complete circle. He must have walked right around us. Well, bing bling, I just got back from doing a turkey hunt. Hey, thanks, Samuel. What do we have here? Just ran into a whole herd of bison. I wonder if he is there. He is a four easy 152 to 226. I can't believe we just found him. I wonder what else is in the group. Female, female. And female there. I think there's two male. Yep, there's two four easies. This one's a little bit lighter on the weight. The other one weighs a little bit more than him. I think he's actually bedded down. Yep, he's bedded down right there. 152 to 226, four easy. So he could break 200 plus easily. Wait, that's not him. There's two of them. One weighs a little bit more and one weighs not quite as much. So we have a really good win. We're going to see if we can't get in range with them. Uh, bing bling. So I just knocked down a gobbler at 50 yards. He came in with like four or five hens. If you want to actually check out my Instagram at the hunter dd 33 um, I do have a picture of the gobbler coming in with three hens, I think there was. And he didn't really want to come any closer, so I thought he was in range and took the shot. But I haven't really been practicing too much with that gun, so probably should have let him get a little bit closer. Although if I would have done that, he might have spooked, so one of those things where you just don't know. 
you don't know until you try basically that's the big one there he's right there yeah I'm gonna try hey arct monkey good to see you again I'm gonna see if we can't get the one that weighs more they both have pretty much the same estimate and they're both for easy Uh, I think I'm on level 59. That reminds me, I should put some cover spray on. Oh. He got up and then he laid back down. Yeah, he probably would have spooked you, right? Hit it and find out. Well, we're going to use the wind and see what we can do here. I don't think they're going to get up. They should just lay down. They don't really have any reason to get up, so we should be able to get within 30, 40 yards to take a shot. I think we're going to try and get on top of this hill and come down from the top from the top down it should be should be all right yeah we have a pretty nice one here he's a four easy 150 to 226 score on him so i don't really know how much bigger they really get Oh, it's probably for sure gold, but it has potential to be a diamond. We're getting close. We're getting close. What do we have here? That's not even the right one. That's a three very easy. And that's a female. Still a nice one though. We're going to slow down a little bit here. Don't want to spook them. We're just going to take our time and peek up over this ridge. Which one is the big one? That's the medium sized one there. That's the female there. Oh, we're not gonna, we're gonna take our time. We have good wind. We have cover spray on. I think that should be him. Yes, sir. There he is right there. 24 yards away. Horrible, horrible angle, though. So I don't know if we're going to wait for him to stand up. Or what we're gonna do. Let's just see how far away they are. 17. 
I think we're going to stay zeroed in for 30 just because. And we should be able to go for a shot on him when he stands up. Go around the back side of the tree. Hello, Matthew. Good to see you. Can we pop up here? Uh, not the greatest. He's behind that tree. So am I, Samuel. Yeah, he's about 20 yards away. If we could just get past this tree. I don't want to take any shot even near that tree because it could very easily glitch out. But we should be able to... What is that? Oh, that's the smaller one. All right, we have a clear shot at this guy here. I just don't know if I want to take that shot. Let's go for it. Oh! We messed it up. Shot too high. Is that him? Where did he go? Oh boy. <sighs> Somehow we shot over the top of the spine, which should realistically be a complete miss, but it wasn't. Now we need to figure out where we were. Way over here? I guess it was here. It was just a gold? Okay, good. Yeah, that's why I don't like taking a shot when they're laying down like that. It's not a good idea. I really wanted to see how big he actually was going to be, though. That's a good idea. Let's get the ATV. Yeah, I probably would have been like a 190, 200 plus, um, bison not giant but pretty big You know, I was actually hoping maybe I hit him in the spine, but maybe a little bit too far back 
to where it wouldn't drop them, but it still would get a, a quick kill bonus rather quickly. But something tells me it was probably just a flesh hit. Got tracks here. That's the wrong one. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Here's his tracks. Let's see, he charged me that way. And it looks like he ran this way. Yep, it was a flesh hit. See old tracks there. Hey, welcome back, Wyatt. If you missed it, we just messed up a pretty big bison. Yeah, for sure. Boy, I wish I would have seen which way he ran to. So he ran this way. And he ran this way. Which should potentially be this direction. That's awesome, Jeremy. Congratulations. Good luck on that eight mythical red deer. Oh, looks like we found some more blood. 
25%. How did it get to 25%? Oh, I think it might actually go down with the 600 grain. Well, that'd be cool if he goes down. I hope it's down. Oh, your deer? <laughs> nice job, Jeremy. Congratulations. I thought you were talking about this bison. Could be him right there, actually. Sure is. What is that? Female. Female. Oh, well, let's see if we can't finish off this bison. is coming right in. Is that him? No, it's not him. Where did he go? That's not him either. This one looks white for some reason. I don't know if it's albino or something. Why does it look so white? Ah, there they are. And there he is, 23 yards away. Let's try this again. That'll do it. Let's see if we can get this white one now. I don't even see him anymore. Oh, he's right there. Let's reload our crossbow. Awesome shot. He's down. I don't know if it's an albino or what, but either way, we got him. Actually, yeah, let's go take a look first. It looked like a light colored. I don't know. That was a rare piebald bison. No way. That's my first rare bison. Kind of wish I would have taken a picture of it now, but at least you guys got to see it. And you could probably watch it in the video to see what it looked like again. Uh, but 
Wow, that was so cool. That was a piebald rare female bison. And I think it's all glitched out because we didn't use the 338 on. That was a crossbow shot. We made a, looks like we had shoulder weight and spine. So pretty awesome. A piebald female bison. Wow. Now I just want to go over here and go pick up this big one and see what he's going to score. Two hundred and eighteen score on him. Wow, that's a huge bison. For sure, would have been high golds. I don't think it would have been diamond, but still a monster bison. I'm really happy with that. It looks like that first shot hit shoulder blade. We actually shot right above the top of the spine and hit the shoulder blade on that shot. So a little bit unfortunate, but still an awesome bison. And I think that's gonna be a pretty good way to end this stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I'll probably be doing a stream tomorrow after I get done turkey hunting. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.